At THC, we know that a strong financial future is built on companionship. Which is why, when you open a savings account with us, you get two horses delivered straight to your You are plugged into the sound of what's happening. Let's go. Oh God, what's what's that? It's a DJ software. It makes anything sound cool. Let's not let's not do that. That tonally just sounds really bad. See? Even boring stuff like that. I just think for the integrity of the show, let's just not. You keep speaking. I'll keep affecting. So no, let's just let's let's stop doing that right there. Right now. Ah, oh, we should have said the same thing. That'd have been cool. Why? We're like MC style, like same thing, same time, bam. <laughs> we're we're doing a discursive podcast. We're not we're not we're not a grime crew. Not a what sorry? We're not like a, a pair of rappers. Oh, so repeat yourself exactly. Surely give me a chance. Well, I don't want you. To... Can we can, can we, we move, move on? on? Nailed it. Maz, will you, will you help out with this? Good luck getting Maz to help out. She'll never stop the laugh. I've hacked him and shut his laptop down. That is just off now. Yeah. Wow. Uh, OK, well, our guest this week was the wonderful dating expert, Tiffany Bryce. Tiffany Bryce, bring in the fire! It is off. It's off. Sorry, that is completely... Stop trying. Uh, now, Tiffany, you, you may know Tiffany because she's... I haven't seen it. She's on a show, right? Yeah, TV show. she be the couple's therapist uh, yeah. on Single or Bacon. Right. And so. what's that again? Yeah, you've got to work out if the if the... Like person is single, yeah. or if they've got bacon under their clothes, single. Sorry, yeah. or they've got bacon under their clothes. Well, or they might be single. Bacon under the clothes. That's not the opposite of being single, is it? You have to see the show, man. The contestant chooses like that. Chooses like I think they're single, or mm, no, I think they've got bacon under their clothes. I've never heard anything like this. Before well, play, Maz, play the clip that we're watching. Then it's a really good show, actually. Play it. See, what you, yeah. Mara, you've been on a dingo date. You've had a terrific night in the Love Lagoon. But it's decision time. Is Hugo single or has he got bacon stuffed under his clothes? I was getting flirty vibes on the date, but then in the canoe challenge, I definitely saw him adjust his shirt. Can I use my Tiffany tete a tete? Of course. Tiffany, love Doctor This Dilemma. Mara, you had an instinct about Hugo. Follow that, trust that. You'll be okay. I guess I just, I just wonder if he's single and has the bacon. It won't be both. We make sure it's never both. I need a verdict, Mara. I think he's single. Hugo, it's over to you. Mara, it's been lovely getting to know you. It's bacon! It's bacon! I'm so, I'm so sorry, Mara. Well played, Hugo. I take a man. Wedding in June. Lovely time of year. Oh God, yeah, he spoke about the wedding. Join us after a break to find out whether Kay is flying solo or packing pork. Right, well, that is absolutely appalling. Appalling stuff. Ah! Doing. Oh no, why is filming on pause? Um, one of the contestants got attacked by a leopard. What? Ah, uh, mm. bacon. Yeah, yes. Exactly. Well, his unfortune is our f fortune oh. because we get Tiffany's dating tips. Oh, yeah. What? Tiffany Bryce in the studio! Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, live yeah. and unplugged, baby! Don't yeah. unplug the no, mic. Sorry, live and plugged then, yeah. And not. Um, and not live even, Maz, is it? Because we actually edit this, don't we? Yeah, yeah obviously yeah, we edit this, definitely. yeah. So, um, will, will this be, be in or...? Well, it depends if you say something interesting or not. Uh, um, mm. So, Tiffany, I was hoping that you'd help my boy out over here because he's been out of the dating game for ages. Oh, for God, no, I, is it, is that... Fear not, my love. You have an appointment with the dating doctor. Yeah. So, my lovely, why yeah. the dry spell? No, he's, he's way off here. I've, I've, I've been on lots of dates. Well, not recently, though. Very recently. What? Very recently. I went on a date just the other day to a gig. What band? Razorlight. Razorlight? When was this, sorry? Recently, very recently. Well, I didn't know Razorlight still... Of course, they, yeah, they, they gig all the time. They've got the guitars, keep playing. Keep playing. Mm. Don't waste it. Don't throw, yeah. You don't play a few songs and throw it away, do you? you know, you keep gigging, keep gigging. It was well, great. I wasn't saying they'd do that. Great gig, great night, and her and I, we uh, we bonded over. We got matching iPods, um, iPods, phones, when we, phones, phones, and uh, and then my mum picked me up. Well, that dates it surely. I I know what you mean, Maz, but actually, to be fair, his mum does still pick him up. I like the way she indicates. 
you're going to get a therapist on for that as well. Well, there'd be a lot to yeah, look Yeah, I think out. we definitely really? could, man, definitely. Mummy's boy. <laughs> <laughs> Close to a parent. Close to a parent. I'm daddy's gal, so I can't speak. I'm kind of like uncle's friend. Yeah. Like, you fucking get on my uncle. Yeah. Quality guy. He's one of those guys. Who's the guy who, like... I know what you're going to say, Danny DeVito. No, 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 no. The guy... F- oh, maybe it was. The guy who flew too close to the sun. Yeah. I'm I'm fine. You're here now, so if you're going to do the dating advice, the love doctor mm. stuff, can you just do it, do it with those two? Cause they're, Are you they're, sure? Yeah, they're weird. Do it with them. I don't need dating advice when I've got online complaints forms. Exactly. So, Sorry, yeah, what I'm, does that I mean? I just actually? heard a voice. What was that, my love? Online complaint forms. You fabricate a concern over a faulty rake or delay delivery, and the customer services assistant is legally obliged to reply. You establish a rapport, you meet up, bone. I escalated. Yeah, good for you, girl. Bone's big. Brilliant. Bone's really big. Well, I'm the bone doctor. <laughs> I love to hear about a bone. <laughs> so, um, Robin, my love, where is the struggle happening? Is it in, in sort of meeting yeah, people? Or... Yeah. So why are we straight back to me? Do Leo. He's oh, next. All, all good here, boy. Seeing someone. Big time. <gasps> oh, yeah. I love to hear it. Love birds. <laughs> How do you meet? How we, oh, God, yeah. Um, well, call me old-fashioned, call me old fashioned, um, but just in real life. Yeah. Having... Um, having matched on Hinge. What's yeah. she like? Uh, she actually told me not to talk about her on the pod. Yeah, don't you dare. <laughs> I was like, oh, Amy, would I be a new name for you, Jalin- Jalinda? Don't worry, feel free to change some details. Oh, sick. Thanks, Stephanie. Well, in that case, yeah. What's she like? She is a scuba instructor um, with a big red dog. Um, and she is... 63. You don't need to change everything. Well, just the one tweet so far. Yeah. Now, it's a jet black collie. This episode, we are proudly partnering with the wonderful scientists over at Ball Gores. Fellas, we've all been there. You stood at the urinal, and to look cool, you've got your trousers and your pants pulled right the way down to your ankles. Then disaster strikes. 40 to 50 birds fly into the bathroom with one idea on their mind. To peck your privates to Mary L. Well, not with the ball gauze. Simply fasten around your waist and you're not wasting any time wondering how many of these damn birds are gonna get a direct hit on the plums. None will. This is a zinc alloy. It's permeable, it's waterproof, and it comes with a jazzy toy travel bag in navy or camel. They're selling fast, particularly in woodland areas, so use our discount code FREEGORES for 3% off your first ball gauze. Right, I think I'm off to the loo. Hey, don't forget this, bud. Oh, (laughs) close one. (laughs) I would have got my balls ripped to shreds by birds. Well, look, thank you for coming in, Tiffany, but I think uh, romance-wise we're all... Well, a okay, really, because Leo's going out with uh, whoever that is. Maz has got no complaints, so to speak. And I went on a very hot date recently at the London Olympics. Oh, shit. Julie. One sec. Who's Julie? Oh, she works in the studio next door. Yeah. He fancies her. <gasps> I don't fancy Yes. <gasps> yes. I don't fancy her. I said no. I said she was attractive, which is... He wants to bone her. Thank you, Maz. I don't want to stop saying bone. I, didn't, I, I said yes. she was attractive. You literally but... asked me if she was single. <laughs> yeah, because I was curious. That's why. I don't... You know, I'm a journalist. I'm curious as to whether all sorts of people are single. Like who? Richard Gere? No, he's on his third wife. Who else? Uh, don't know. Diane Keaton? She is, yeah. <clears throat> Another one? The, the, bad, the baddie from... The, the, not the taller baddie from Home Alone. Daniel Stern? Yeah. Don't know. Robin, I've just done some romance radiology right now, and the results are in. You do fancy her. Yes, the science. The the door, Julie. That's, you fancy her. What are you basing that on? Science, romance radiology. Yeah. Leo is going to let her in, yes. and you, my friend, are going to ask her out. Yes. Well, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not. Right. Yes. No, 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 I'm not going to. Should be I'm easy not. for a dating pro like you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go on then. Hey, Julie. Hey, sorry about that. No, it's fine. I was wondering, have you got a spare USB mic? Um, what, uh, well, um, If you, um, do we, are we tomorrow? Or no? Okay, don't worry. 
So if I were to need dating tips... Three simple rules. Here we go. Yeah. Number one, yeah. Yeah. open with an interesting anecdote that yes. encourages them to ask a question. Good, I'm going to write this yeah. down. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yes, yes, Number yes. two, laugh. Yes. Girls love laughing. Hey, I got your text, so you do have a USB mic. Yes, I acquired it from a Turkish bazaar. Uh, do you have a question about that? Oh. Uh, no, just... Uh, where's the... Have you got the mic or...? Yeah. Um. <laughs> What's going on? What a rib tickler. Girls love laughing. Of course. And should I say something to accompany the laugh? Like what? What a rib tickler. I mean, not unless you're really panicked. Fine. These tips are just gold. Like, honestly, I've never... It's mm. so helpful. Like, the thing about laughing, like... So, some of the best memories are laughter, laughs. Yeah. It's so much fun when you find yeah. something funny. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. What... Sorry? What are we talking about? Whether it's nice to have a nice time? Try to be less... And it is. ...and more... And it is nice. And and number three, finally, yeah. be vulnerable. <laughs> Reveal something yeah. true about yourself. Okay, got it. I, I, I was born in 1991. I'm just so confused. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Uh -huh. I don't tell you to do the hand stuff. I know. I'm just. I'm just trying anything at this point. She's gone. <sighs> yeah. Shall I just um did give a little shout out promote my book? Yeah. Feel free, Tiffany. Yeah. We uh, we actually edit this to keep all the good stuff in. So no problem. Go for it. It's called uh, Your Life, Your Lips, Your Love, Your Time, Your Truth, Your Mother. Well, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Ironically, I actually am going on a date with Tiffany. It's, Legend. Uh, Love well, that. It's, yeah, it's really good. Um, yeah, I just said to her, like, look, that whole thing with Julie, that was that was like a blip. That's just not, I honestly don't need, like, dating, coaching. I'm fine. And she was like, oh, uh, I do think I should see you again. Yeah. I was like, I, you know, I need to see you again. Right. I need you, you know, you need me to see you again. So, yeah, got an email through from her, someone called Luke from her offices, and I'm going there Tuesday, 8 a.m., so quite an early, but I guess we'll go for a walk, brunch or something, yeah. Definitely just sounds like she's going to give you a session. Does it indeed? Well, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> let's, not get, let's not get smutty, though, Maz. If you do think it might get physical, um, take a tip from me. Please, please, please remember to remove your ball gauze. <laughs> Jalinda's yeah. never, never forgiven me, really. She saw it and was like, oh, my Ooh, God, she yeah. almost died of fright. You know, she's, she's not 50 anymore. I think I'll just remember to take it in the travel, travel bag. bag. I will need this back on at some point, Maz. File a complaint and I'll get round to it. Are you, are you asking me out? Mm -hmm.